So hey guys, welcome to another video and first of all I want to explain something to you. So the way I make videos is as follows. I have a notepad and in that notepad I have ideas for videos. Now if I really like a particular idea, that idea is gonna be way up so I will make the video as soon as possible. If I don't like a particular idea, which sounds really weird, but usually it's about some changes I don't agree with and something I just straight up don't like, I will put it down, but I will eventually get to it when I run out of the ideas I really like. And today is one of those videos. We're gonna talk about the massive nerf to basically everyone but healers in terms of raid utility in Warlords of Draenor. So for those of you who do not know, the amount of available raid utility for DPS players and tanks in Warlords of Draenor will be significantly lower when compared to Mists of Pandaria. So for Death Knights, Anti-Magic Zone now reduces magic damage taken by 20%, down from 40%, that's just 20% nerf, straight up. Druids, this one is just insane, it really hurts. Tranquility is now only available to Restoration Druids, so Feral Druids, Balanced Druids and Guardian Druids say goodbye to your lovely Tranquility because you no longer have it. Now this one is interesting, a minor raid utility ability will be added for Hunters, because of reasons. You know, it's just so hard being a hunter. We're just so mobile and we have bloodlust and we have every single buff. If we have the right pets and we have this one hour long misdirection, we just need more. We're just so useless. We are worthless. Seriously, fuck you hunters. Next we have Mages with Amplify Magic, which is a new raid-wide buff which increases all healing received by 12% for all party and raid members within 100 yards, lasts 6 seconds and has a 2 minute cooldown. Because that makes a lot of sense. Oh that tranquility with its 10 minute cooldown, it's just too damn strong. Let's take it away from the druids and let's give something else to Mages, because let's face it, bloodlust is just not enough. Thank you. Thank you. My name is John Shitface. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, all monk specs are losing Avert Harm, and Stance of the Fierce Tiger's movement speed increase now affects the monk and all allies within 10 yards. I actually kind of like that, Chins. It's kind of neat. Then we have Paladins. Devotion Aura is now only available to Holy Paladins, so no more Prot and Retribution Devotion Auras. Brilliant. Priests, Hymn of Hope has been removed. For Rogue, Smoke Bomb now reduces damage taken by 10%, down from 20%. For Shamans, Ancestral Guidance now causes 20% of damage or healing to be copied as healing to nearby injured allies, down from 40% of damage and 60% of healing, this is a big nerf. Healing Tide Totem is now only available to Restoration Shamans, same thing as with Tranquility. And Stormlash Totem has been removed. We will not miss you, Laglash Totem. For Warlocks, each player can use a Demonic Gateway only once every 90 seconds. That's pretty bad. Health Stones now share a cooldown with Health Potions, separate from other potions. And for Warriors, Rallying Cry now increases health by 15%, down from 20%, and is no longer available to Protection Warriors. Sad face. And Skull Banner has been removed. This is probably the biggest thing. No more school banner. And there are two main reasons behind this big raid utility nerf, or raid utility balance as they like to call it. First of all, they don't like how strong the raid wide defensive cooldowns have become. Which is quite amusing because you made them this way! You idiots! You made them like this and now we're like, what? Well, we don't like what they're doing, they're just too damn strong. Well, tough. And second of all, they want healers to heal through the scary moments, not DPS. Well, that would work if we didn't have hybrid classes, you know, druids, priests, shamans, paladins. They're supposed to heal. That's why they're called hybrids, you nitwits. Jesus. Mm. <sighs> Bloody hell. So, you know, let's just say goodbye to any healing we have done as hybrids and let just be another DPS. Because that's a lot of fun, isn't it? Yes, quite. So as I've said before, I just don't like this change. Okay, I kinda like that they are adding more stuff to hunters and mages because it creates more variety for them. 
But this is the wrong way to go about balancing. If you have 10 things, and out of those 10 things, one thing is underpowered, you're supposed to buff that underpowered thing, not nerf the 9 other things. This is just stupid, that's just not fun. If you have 10 things, and one is underpowered, just buff the fucking thing. Don't nerf the other 9. That's idiotic. Come on now. You've been doing this for so long.